11. How do the details about the experiment described in paragraph 5 convey a central idea of the passage? Okay, let's go back up to paragraph 5. What's this about? So paragraph 4 says, this is all in the filing information away section. So paragraph 4 was uh, the internet modifies the strategies people use to store information. Okay, and then uh, we have several studies about how people manage their information intake. Okay, so that leads into paragraph five. To begin, this is probably the first example of managing information intake. To begin, research examined another study how people evaluate which information deserves their, their memory. So they typed in different phrases and they wrote it down. Those who believe the information would be erased no longer available could recall 40% more facts. Those who thought the information would be than those who would be saved. So there is a comparison. Those who thought it wasn't saved spent more effort and retained more. And those who thought it would be stored didn't really think about what the data was, right? So, okay, let's see what answer choice matches that idea. They suggest that an act of repeating information by typing it on a keyboard may improve a person's memory. No. That was not exactly it. Not necessarily by typing it on a keyboard. It didn't say that in the paragraph. B, they explain that a person will forget information faster if the information is considered unimportant. Okay, I don't think it was about importance versus unimportance. So we'll come back to that. They indicate that a person may start to forget details when the amount of information becomes overwhelming. No, overwhelming? Who said overwhelming in that paragraph? I don't think that's actually in there. So these ideas, they seem interesting. They seem compelling. I could see students jumping at B or C, but I don't think it really said the information was important versus unimportant. It was really whether the information was going to be saved or not saved, right? That was the actual experiment. So D, they suggest that the memory is affected by whether a person expects to have access to information in the future. Yes, whether it's saved, whether they have access to it or not. That's what the effect was. If they thought they were going to lose it, they'd spent time and 40% more could memorize it. Those who thought they always had access to it didn't spend the time to memorize it. D is the correct answer that displays the results of the experiment on paragraph 5.